What is going on Babylonians? It's me, Songs of Rage, back with another Outriders video to bring to you. And today we're actually going to be looking at something quite different from anything else that we've done on the channel so far. And that's the fact that Tiago has had an update in the latest patch, obviously for New Horizon, uh, which allows us to be able to completely randomize the loot that he's able to supply to us as legendaries. And um, so what I wanted to do was, is there a way that we can actually use the legendary loot pool that he actually gives us completely random? So obviously we don't, we don't know what to expect. And we take all those legendaries and we make a build out of it. Uh, what I would like to do is, obviously I'd like, I think it's only fair that we have all of our tier, uh, tier one, two, and three mods that we already have access to. I think it's only fair that we have access to those, obviously, because this is completely random and we can try and make a build out of that, but we can literally get any kind of armor piece. We can literally get any kind of weapon, uh, and it's up to, up to me to be able to then try and take that make a build out of it and then obviously do a CT15 and make sure that I can survive until the end. Uh, if, if this is, it kind of takes off, I would love to be able to do more series like that. I would highly recommend that you give this a go because I actually found it a lot of fun. It's very challenging because it really does make sure that you obviously know your stuff about Outriders, but I highly recommend that you give it a go. And if this actually is kind of successful, then I will look to be able to do it with the other classes as well. But that's enough from me. Let's get into it. From me, let's get all right, so how this is going to work is I've unequipped all my armor so far. I couldn't equip all the weapons. Apparently, you have to keep a weapon on regardless. So, um, But we'll, we'll keep a track on what weapons we actually do get and, and just get it from there. Uh, and the idea is that we'll grab all the stuff from Tiago. I'll mix in, because I think you only get four armor pieces from what I can gather. So uh, we'll mix in one of the ones that I have kicking around here. Uh, we'll make a build out of it. Uh, all the four that I'm going to be getting from Tiago, I'll make sure are in these slots. Uh, and same with the weapons, I'll find one or two weapons that kind of work. I'm a little bit limited on drop pod resources, but we'll, uh, I'm sure we can still make something out of this. And then after we've grab grabbed all the stuff, we'll then go through the skills, we'll go through the class tree, and we'll just get it all sorted. So in that case, i tell you what, we'll just reset that. Uh, so we are good to go. So let's, uh, let's have a bit of luck, shall we? All right. Now, if there's uh, something that's not here that, that that just doesn't really work, doesn't doesn't really go with anything of the build, uh, and if I've got resources left over, I may try to test it with one random legendary. But obviously, this comes across armor and this comes across weapons, so it may not be very useful. But we'll give it a go. So first off, we'll re-roll. We'll re-roll everything that's currently shown on here. Ah, oh, joy of joys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we only got three arm pieces we can wear. Um because we got two boots. I'll tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna use the uh, the random legendary. We're gonna grab one because I think I've got I've still got enough to be able to grab those if we need to. So let's give that a go. It helps a little, I think. So I feel like I need to go for a toxic and a freeze. Um uh, Kind of set. Alright, I think this is the build good to go, <laughs> this monstrosity. Um, so let's have a look what we got. So let's just recap. So I've got a decent amount of firepower, I'm happy with that. Just make sure it is all fully updated, it is. Um, right, so Daimyo, gone for Ultimate Storm Whip, we've gone for Dark Sacrifice because we do want to increase that damage as much as possible to be able to compete. Uh, we've got a Twisted Mercy. Uh, with Embalmer's Rage and uh, Brain Eater, so critical shots do not consume ammo. So we just want to consistently keep that filled up. Um, we've gone for oh reliable. <laughs> well, we haven't gone for it. We've just been given it. Um, so what I want to do is uh, keep my rounds going. So trick of the sleeve, uh, increase the firepower, and our assault weapon damage by ten percent. Uh, got the plague sewer's coat. This was another one that we were given, uh, and this is increasing our anomaly power by thirty percent when we activate blighted rounds. And we've also increased the damage that our pain launcher does. Uh, this, this is just uh, some standard trousers that I've got because that was just to make up the, the rest of the set. Um, we got a Gloves of the Borealis Monarch, so that allows us to be able to have max health, cooldown reduction, long range for Shatter and Freeze Barrage. Uh, just to be able to keep inflicting that freeze, we might as well benefit from the Shatter a bit more. Uh, and lastly, we've gone for the Grim Inventor's Boot, uh, which I've put Crit Stack on. I didn't really want the Tier 3 mod on that. I don't think Pain Launch is really going to be my main damage dealer, so I want to be able to inflict more damage, be able to stack myself up, uh, and actually activate my Pain Launcher to be able to deal a little bit more damage when it gets around to it. Uh, in terms of skills, we've gone for Blighted Turret to be able to activate the end of our class tree. 
Uh, we've gone for our Blighted Browns, obviously, and we've gone for our Pain Launcher, uh, which is on 11.8 second cooldown. It's almost there, which is almost perfect because then that fits into Cannonade, uh, and that allows us to be able to have additional weapon damage for 10 seconds. So the general gist of it is we've gone for Top Tree, uh, we're using an SMG because we didn't get an assault rifle. We didn't get lucky, uh, but we may have, the assault rifle will benefit from the assault master. Um, so we've gone for exposing toxin. Obviously, we've gone down the bottom just to be able to get a little bit more cooldown on our on our pain launcher, just so we can activate cannonade a bit more often. Uh, and the rest is just kind of like standard stuff. So let's find out. Let's see what this kind of uh, pain and torture is going to be like. Uh, and we do not need to worry about the pistol whatsoever. So it's just purely going to be this so uh let's have a look what we've got on the maps all right so i tried to do a scorch lands i managed to complete it and then right at the very end i looked and noticed that my recording had cut out halfway through so <laughs> everything i'd done up to that point uh had to be redone so what we're going to do instead is we're going to run through a camp plant we'll get a nice some nice quick gameplay and yeah let's uh let's talk about this build so i've managed to have a few runs with this so far uh few of them where I died because uh, it's just there was a lot going on uh, but uh, overall it's not terrible and I think that's because it's gonna be one of two things so it's either gonna be the daimyo is really helping the build out uh, or it could be that, um, that firepower technomancer is the main bit main bit uh, it could be both there is every chance it is both but the Daimyo is definitely doing respectable damage, and I think that's the main thing to really take away from this. Uh, now, it does need a little bit of spacing because it is a burst, uh, burst SMG, and it, it's not as efficient at filling your health back up as like a burst AR because it just doesn't have that sustained uh, kind of like. It doesn't have the damage, it doesn't have the firepower, all that kind of thing. Um, so, it does a good job. It just doesn't necessarily do the best job. So you'll notice that there's times where my health, even though I'm on 26, 26 k health, uh, it still falls kind of low. And you know that's 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 what it is, unfortunately. So so the main thing to take away from this is that you can actually use the daimyo or in this build without blighted rounds. Um, you can definitely do that. You can definitely get some work done. And I think that's kind of like testament to the uh, to the to the daimyo itself. So under uh, the ultimate uh, storm whip. So it used to be kind of taboo that you don't really uh, use any kind of damaging mods whatsoever with a firepower techno because you're trying to refill your bullets. And while that is, that certainly is the case, and uh, that's, that hasn't changed my mind or any kind of perspective on on that for me. Um, I will say that Ultimate uh, Ultimate Storm Whip might be an exception to that, and the reason why is uh, regularly I find that the Storm Whip really softens up targets, uh, similar to like how the splash on your Blighted Browns does, and it does such a good job that it, it kind of leaves them with uh, like a respective amount of health left, and oh, that's just such a good lineup. Um, so that when you, ah, oh, damn it, I haven't got my turret back. Um, let's go with that. Um, oh, this, I mean, this might be nasty. Uh, I mean, that's decent. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. Uh, definitely do not want to stand that though. Um, so the storm whip does a really good job of like I said, softening up the target, uh, just bringing them a little bit closer to the health cap that you need, you need them to be, so you can finish them off with your uh, with your actual SMG, your actual burst, all that kind of thing. And like there, I mean, that's that's just spawn. That's it. It, it, it does a, like not enough to be able to finish off an enemy, but just enough to be able to actually enjoy the benefits of them losing that that amount of health. And it just, like, with guns like this, I'm not saying that you would need it on your burst AR, for example. Uh, I, I definitely don't think you need it for that. But um, for, like, lesser used guns, for, like, uh, if people don't want to use that kind of thing, then, yeah, you could definitely get away with using Ultimate Storm Whip. Uh, and it will really help you out, I think. Uh... 
Uh, the Daimyo itself is a decent gun. Uh, I've always kind of liked the look of the Daimyo. Uh, just be aware that because it's, it doesn't fire and it doesn't do as much damage, um, ow. But there are times where you're, you're starting to get like here, uh, you're trying to recover and you just can't. Um, so just be aware of that. Uh, but as long as you space yourself out, uh, it has better range than what you initially expect anyway. Um, and this, it can also, with the ultimate storm with it can actually stumble enemies and that actually can buy you like a second or two uh, just to be able to squeeze off the shots that you need to be able to heal yourself with. Uh, I am missing fixing wave now uh, at times. Uh, so yeah, it, especially with uh, how overrun you can get in Kempland. Uh, but overall, just doing a decent job. Uh, I, don't, I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't change my build to this at all. Uh, but it's a nice. I, I think I feel like I got a little bit lucky in that respect with the uh, with the random rolls and the random drops. Uh, we'll just pop that there. Just give ourselves the. Oh, it actually went through the uh, through the ceiling. Oh, that's interesting. See that that's a perfect example right there of it softens them up. You're able to squeeze. Uh, the, the, like, the damage that you need to. Oh, perfect. Alright, so this bit is notorious with the elites that pop out, so we'll pop the freeze down. Ah, oh, this limit sanctuary of all the skills. Let's get a little bit of distance because I don't like shotguns right now. And there's so many of them coming at me. Okay. Now, because we don't have a timer, I'm going to keep firing away at these captains. Oh god, I didn't realise one could teleport. Okay, that's two down. Play that. Um, good to go. Alright, so we're into the final bit of Kemplant. Well, the penultimate final bit anyway. Uh, or at least the final room. And uh, let's see how we get on with these. Now, the main reason uh, with the Dino is this allows me to, uh, to actually have this kind of conversation. Uh, so, because it's a burst, if you are playing on PC, you want to press the mouse, uh, you want to press your uh, your fire button and then let go, and the rest of the burst will come out as normal. Uh, if you're on console, you want to do the same thing, uh, but obviously not with the mouse, if that, makes sense, if that makes no sense. Uh, but if you hold down, it just consistently gets wider, and you don't want to do that with something that's like a precision kind of burst weapon. So it has a, the game has this way where it still fires at the same uh, same rounds, but uh, you, you actually get your accuracy better. So, for example, if I was to aim at this venomous, look, look how wide that's now getting. It's just it's getting a bit uncontrollable. But if I then tap, it just barely moves. So that's a little new tip for you. So feel free to keep that in mind if you do end up finding a Daimyo. Uh, it works with any kind of burst, so this, this also works with burst ARs, uh, burst double guns, burst SMGs, uh, so it's not exclusive to the Daimyo, but uh, alright, so now we're on to the boss fight, let's swap back to our Daimyo, and let's just pepper away. And of course the Broodmother dodges the freeze perfectly. <laughs> kind of wish the uh, turret would actually fire a little bit quicker when it's placed down. It does give them like, what, a second or so to be able to move out of the way? Uh, which can be frustrating, but... Oh, just demolished. And now the rest is just easy pickings. 
perfect. So that pretty much wraps up everything to do with this randomizer. I will, I will try and think of a better name if we do make it into a series. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed. Hopefully you find the uh, the random element or the random aspect to it uh, a lot of fun and a lot more intriguing uh, when it comes to gameplay. If you'd love to see, be able to see me try this out with different classes or just be able to make some kind of like series out of it, make sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure to uh, drop a comment just to let me know that this is something that you're interested in. Uh, if you want me to try it in a team environment, then by all means let me know in the comment section down below and I'm sure I can arrange that either with the Discord or with Ben and Dan when it comes to uh, Babylon itself. Um, if you also want me to put this idea forward to maybe a few other content creators, see if we can get... Wait, we've only got, we got four religion, is that? Fair enough. Uh, if you want me to put it forward to some other content creators, see if we can actually get like a small team going, see if anyone would be interested in doing a few runs, uh, then... Yeah, let me know. We could potentially do some kind of like stream to be able to show off all perspectives, and uh, we can all we can do is try, can't we? So uh, that pretty much wraps up the video. So thank you all so much for watching. That all the way to the end, it really does mean a mean a lot to us. Um, as always. Thank you so much to the Babylonian family. Their names are going to be popping up at the end of the video. And obviously, if you want to be able to get your name on the end of it, every single one of our videos, then make sure you click that join button that's found right next to the subscribe button. It really is as little as 99p a month, and it really just helps out the channel, and all the money goes straight back into the channel as well. Um, and yeah, that pretty much leaves me to say thank you all so much. Keep yourself safe, keep yourself well, and I'll see you all on that next video.